Hello student, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shekzi.com and welcome in lecture number 4th. Today is we are going to talk about plugins. If you want to add some plugins, more than one plugins or two plugins or CSS or JS files inside a specific page or a specific method. So in the last lecture you have learned how can you break your HTML content into multiple parts and why you need to break your HTML content into multiple parts. So now <laughs> go to your uh, sorry, uh, go to your browser and refresh the page. This is your home controller. Make sure whenever you want to access your home controller, it always ex execute your index method. So uh, we are at the index method. Okay, okay. So now what happens if you want to first suppose you are at the index uh, first of all you you are at the home controller and at the about us sections or uh, first suppose about us sections you need you need to add four css files or uh, two css first suppose two two css, CSS file and two js file okay so how can you add two css and two js file definitely you can access your uh, header and CSS file. So here is your header and CSS file. So I'm saying this is CSS file. Okay, SRC. And I'm saying one here. Okay, one dot style here. First suppose I'm saying one CSS file, one CSS file, and I'm going to reload it. Uh, view page source. You have just attached two CSS file. Make sure one and one is not exist. I'm saying this is two. Okay, so these files is for now. These two files is not exist in our inside our projects. We are just going to teach you what happens. So you need to add two files okay you have added two files so what about your js files where you can uh, add your jquery and js file definitely you can add your jquery and js files inside your footer sections make sure where is your footer section so here is your footer sections make sure uh, we are closing our body and html inside your footer section i'm saying uh, a script so this is your script and I'm saying uh, SRC for suppose uh, this is your jQuery for suppose jQuery and this is your uh, JS file one JS file JS file one and your JS file two go to your uh, home controller refresh the page so now make sure you are at the about us sections. So now you are adding two CSS file and one jQuery and two JS files. And now go to your home section. Now view, view page source. You can see you uh, you, ne you need these two JS and the these two CSS file inside your home sections, but it it's also loading inside. Sorry, make sure you need these two CSS and these two JS file inside your about us sections, not inside your home sections, but it's also loading your two CSS and two JS file in your home sections and go to your login page or login method it's go view page source so now you can see it's also loading your css and js file here so i need these two css these two js and these two css file inside my about us sections so how can you do that make sure we are here's your header we are starting our header inside our header.php and make sure we are closing our header section inside our CSS. So here is your CSS. We are 
closing so you can see we are closing our css here so if you want to add some extra css and js file on a specific page or a on a specific method you can just add extra here for suppose you can add extra files here for suppose extra this load i'm saying view and i'm saying in my css and here is x uh, for suppose extra css extra css we are going to create css folder for suppose inside our view directory so extra css here okay so extra css here so now i am just adding these two files inside my extra because i need these two css files on my about us sections okay so what about your js files where you can add these js files i am saying i am going to create another view which is i am just copying and i am saying html close for suppose html close or body close okay i am going to create another view inside my header folder so here is your header folder and i am saying so we are closing our body and uh, our html inside our footer so go to your footer so where is your footer copy these cut these okay cut this code and now go to your html close sections so now what happens here we are loading header extra css css navigation bar home section footer sections and our html section so we are going to load our jquery inside our footer so here is your footer okay so we are loading our jquery inside our footer section but we are loading these two js files on our uh, about us section so just create another view which is i am saying js from js folder i am saying extra js extra js okay so i am going to create my js file sorry directory js directory and i'm going to create js file okay so now i'm saying here is extra js so you can see we we have breaked our html content into multiple parts so what happens go to your about us sections make sure about us sections about us so view close these tabs and you can view page source so you are adding two css files inside your about us method or about us page so two css file two js file and now go to your login page so this is your login page so now you can view page source you can see we are okay just copy these bad boys and these folders here and these folders here okay so now refresh the page view page source you can see we are also loading two css to a js to js file js file at our login section but we need these css and these these js files inside about us section just so remove this remove this and now you can load your page view page source you can see we are not loading our css file and our js file inside here so this is the useful uh, 
method if you are working like this and uh, because you need two CSS file and two JS file on a specific page which is about a uh, method and uh, why you need to load these extra CSS and JS file again and again inside your project so um, I think this is very helpful to you if you are working like this and uh, if you are working on a large scale uh, website or web applications so it's very helpful okay thank you for watching